Hi, I'm going to try to make a brief video about how I am using Arviz on my initial attempt with Arviz. And thanks to teammate Ense who got us up and going with this. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the tunnel simulation from the Docker container. So I am in my uh, directory sub t underscore testbed. All right, I'm going to execute the run bash command that will start up the tunnel circuit practice with the X1 robot. All right, while well, that's starting up now, let's go ahead and get the process ID, the container number. All right, so container ID. All right, so I can run from that Docker container. All right, docker execute dash it, container number bin bash. All right, that gets us to the sub t underscore workspace. And here is where I'm going to type rviz to start rviz. Let's minimize this now. All right, so see over here on the left, right, we've got the simulator running. We've got rviz came up and what we have here is, you can see here in red, under RViz, it says global status error fixed frame. What we need to do is on the fixed frame under global options, right now it defaulted the map. Let's tell it that we want our robot X1 to be the fixed frame. Uh, you can choose other places on X1, but I'm going to go with that as a fixed frame, hit the enter key, and now that global status goes okay, away. Right, and I want to add in, so we can then click on add, and let's add in uh, an image. So by display type image, I'm going to click on OK. All right, it comes up, it doesn't show us any image. So we actually then click on that little triangle to the left of image, go to image topic, and we want to go to the topic our robot's publishing. So if I click on the drop down arrow, it gives me a list of topics. We only have the one for the front image raw and now you can see now we can see what the robot is seeing as well down here and then i also want to add the laser scan and so i'm going to go over and choose by topic click on laser scan okay and again then this time since i clicked on by topic it already has the topic filled in for me we don't see anything on the laser scan until I actually start uh, moving the robot around, or I have, I'm gonna start up the teleop joystick so we will start to see something. All right, so back, let's open another terminal. So let's copy in this command. So we can start up Docker again, that workspace, let that sub T workspace. All right, uh, so it's Ross launch, uh, sub T underscore example, bin, oh no, teleop, teleop dot launch, start that launch file. All right. And now with my joystick connected, right, if I start to move the robot, um, You know, let me right click on the robot to go to follow mode. And so you can get over by the tunnel with the laser data. There. All right. So now the laser data shows up. I'm going to stop, right, stop the robot for a second. All right. What you see here in red in the center of Arvis, right there on that map is the laser scan data. I'm gonna go back to laser scan. And so when its style is flat squares, I find if I change it to points, right, it looks a little bit thicker there. I could see it just a little bit better, right? And no. And the default view, right? I'm using the default view here, the orbits view. Uh, it's giving me the fixed frame. If I want, I can change that. White gives me the black box sometimes. 
All right, so if I want to now say the target frame is X1 and hit the Enter key, zero that out. Hmm. Okay, well, when I did that before, I got a couple of different views here. Oh, well, let's just go with this. All right, because see if when we enter, we start getting some information about the robot. All right, so now here we are in the tunnel. Let me try to drive a little faster through this section. And I do want to take the branch here. Uh, this first left branch, there's a backpack down that branch. Right, so you can see as we go around the corner, right, you can see what that laser scan looks like. So use the right joystick button. And We'll move around a little faster. You can see then what the laser is actually showing. Now we can bring in, let me stop the robot for a second. Let's bring in then the IMU information. So I'm going to add by topic. IMU data, oh, sorry, select IMU. All right, and this one makes me laugh. Someday it won't, All right? We get this huge vector, All right? You scroll down here to IMU, All right? You see that topic is this, it's a uh, history length is just the most recent. Now, before I did something to change the view, oh, I'm going to change the focal point. I'm going to change the third person follower. It gave me some XYZ points. I, I have to play around with the view at some point to determine. I'm going to change focal point and all to understand better how all of that is working. Go back to the orbit view, all right, which gives us that. All right, all right. I guess oh, what I'd like to do is if I start up the joystick, a sorry, if I start up the robot again, all right, you can see if I go left to right a little bit, that acceleration vector changes. If I try to run it up on a rock, it may change. Okay. course you know then I lose sight and then I drive into things I swear there was a red backpack in here somewhere but hey I will stop driving around well that means I'll run into something there boom yeah I run into that can't go anywhere. Okay, so the other thing that was failing that I wanted to include in this, maybe somebody can help me figure out. Stop this from moving is back in RViz. And I go to add, and if I want to bring in the odometry. So here, if I click on odometry, uh Accumulates and displays poses from nav messages, odometry message, or even by topic. I just go to the odometry topic, which we know it's publishing, and I add that in. Notice odometry shows up in red here, right? And I get this status error right? that I don't know how to fix. This is what I said I could use some help with. All right, we make this a little bigger. Actually, if I just click on this, right, this will show us down here. Transform sender equals unknown publisher. For frame, x1 odometry colon frame, x1 odometry does not exist. Uh, my first speculation is could there be some sort of case sensitive error? Notice there's a little f in frame here, there's a capital F in here. Uh, 
since I don't know what this means exactly yet, right? I don't know if that's something that I can go correct or if it's just something, it's likely something I'm doing wrong at this point. But like I said, if anybody figures this out, it'd be great to share with the group how to fix this. Uh, other thing you might find handy if you haven't tried before, I'm gonna go back and open it up another terminal, right, into that Docker container. And I'm gonna start RQT graph. So RQT underscore graph, hit the enter key. And I'll maximize that. And then I'm gonna use the scroll wheel on my mouse to zoom in here. What this does is this shows us here in X1, right, you can see everything. So by default, it's showing nodes only. Right, we can say, show me only nodes and active topics. So it's going to show us the topics in here. All right, so if I scroll in here, then X1 command velocity is a topic. It's also telling me that as I hover over it, the topics are showing up in the rectangles. The nodes are showing up in the ovals, right? And clicking on them doesn't give me any extra information right. but I find it handy right you can also always do Ross topic list but I always kind of find this kind of handy rather than going to the terminal right to see what nodes are running how they're connected it also is showing the publishing rates which may or may not be handy right uh, there's a nodes topics all. So if, you, if there's some that aren't active that are in here, you can see that as well. All right, so this is everything right encapsulated with a robot. This joy node, I assume, is coming up from starting tele up, uh, the tele up launch of the joystick. All right, that's external to X1, but you can see then how that feeds in that information. All right, here's the uh, topic. All right, here's the node. Like I said, this graph is somewhat handy in seeing how all of these are connected. All right, uh, so I hope everybody discovers more about RViz and can share their tips.